welcome friends uh, in this training i will show you uh, how the earth mesh calculation is done for example we want to make a new substation which is uh, in our case is uh, 380 slash 110 slash 13.8 kv substation so what will be the steps and uh, in the calculation uh, in the method of statement we will see of how uh, practically a mesh of substation is designed. So in my previous training, I I just make a training which is covering the theoretical part. But this training uh, specifically will cover uh, the actual uh, design submittal, actual calculations of uh, a substation, and we will see how the substation uh, is uh, basically design so uh, uh, this is a this will be a very very interesting uh, uh, training uh, this is a practical training which is available online uh, and uh, you will not find such training anywhere else so i really encourage to you guys to uh, be part of this training so let's go through quickly that what parts are covered in this training this training is uh, mostly uh, based on practical approach and practical example so for theoretical part you can subscribe to my other training which is also related to substation earthing in design and covering the theoretical part so let's see how what topics are covered in this uh, uh, training or in this calculations so we will start with introduction uh, we will check the description of site uh, which is basically uh, a site uh, in, uh, where you want to make a substation uh, network data we will discuss uh, if you want to make a substation you need the network data so in the network data uh, what what is the important thing is that uh, how much for example will be the short circuit level and uh, short circuit level obviously depends upon the how many sources are feeding and uh, to which network it is connected so if a, a network have more number of sources it will increase the short circuit level and uh, the wood, another important thing is the voltage level uh, at which you are connecting the substation if the voltage level is high obviously the short circuit, uh, short circuit level will be high the rating of short circuit level normally is uh, uh, is, is look like uh, 60 kilo ampere for 3 seconds is a short time rating and substation grid station is not designed to carry fault current for a longer duration of time obviously substation uh, ground current is substation mesh is uh, designed to carry current for a short duration typically you will see the substation mesh and all the primary equipment design for uh, short circuit rating for example x kilo ampere or 10 30 50 60 70 uh, kilo ampere for 3 seconds so as uh, much as uh, the voltage level increases uh, normally the short circuit level of the equipment or the mesh is it will also increase also uh, in the in, in the network if you have more number of power transformers are installed and more lines are connected to the substation the level has to be calculated and um, from each source so normally the short circuit uh, level is provided by the utility so <clears throat> there are two options one is that you have you can design a complete network of the utility on uh, uh, simulation software like PSSE software can be used and uh, uh, on, the, on this simulation you can calculate the short circuit level in the description of site uh, it is describing the location that uh, where is the location for the site and uh, this location will also give an idea because uh, uh, if the site is hilly or the site is uh, on the sand how is the so a type of soil 
so it will give an idea about the site location and uh, it will you can based on this uh, you can be able to know what is the uh, site location send is uh, number three specific soil resistivity so uh, this is one of the most important uh, uh, basically uh, topic uh, the soil resistivity. So in the soil, soil resistivity is one of the most important uh, component uh, when you are going to design the substation. So the in the method is you will see the calculations here for theoretical part as I told you uh, is already covered in one of my previous uh, trainings. And uh, in this section you will see that uh, specific soil resistivity. Uh, each and everything of substation after the network data like voltage level, astronomical level, uh, the specific soil resistivity is most important. So uh, the method is uh, normally taken as you have to take the resistivity. Uh, we will mention the method in the calculation that we have used for designing of a practical 3TKV substation and uh, we will see how it works but uh, if the soil resistivity is higher uh, it means that uh, uh, step potential and touch potential will be higher so you already know that the, when the current passes through a resistance there will be a voltage drop so more resistance means more voltage drop or more potential so it simply means that when just consider as a substation as a resistor which has a resistance of which you can see an arch resistance and arch resistance is it will be more if the resistivity is more and it will be less if the soil resistivity is less so if for example the fault is uh, coming and uh, fault comes 60 kilo FA, which is a huge current and in that case uh, you will see that there will a potential rise of the substation so also this will increase uh, uh, the touch and step potentials when the current passes through different parts of the substations it will create different potentials uh, uh, and also it will rise the overall potential of the grid because depending upon how much is the uh, soil resistivity and how much is the grid, grid resistance so which is not safe so we also have to do the calculations and there are methods by which uh, uh, this uh, earth, uh, if the soil resistivity is high how we can reduce it how we can make the changes in the drawings to achieve the required earth resistance uh, at, at given specific soil resistivity and uh, uh, after that we are doing some other calculations like step and touch potential to make it uh, uh, within the permissive uh, uh, reach so uh, next is uh, we, uh, we will use earth desired software i will introduce you about the software uh, however this uh, training will not cover the detailed part uh, of how to use this software is we will make a separate training for this okay next we will see the thermal design of uh, earthing conductors and earth electrodes uh, we will see uh, how we have to make earthing conductors and earth electrodes at 30 kV, 132 kV and 30.8 kV voltage levels and we will see the out software output for conductor sizing so we have seen in, in the basic data that uh, which earth design software we are using. So based on uh, earth design software has normally uh, many components. So there are many many components of a single software that are used to do the calculation for earthing design for the substation. So based on this software, uh, uh, I will give you a little introduction about uh, earthing conductors and electrode uh, in this training. What are the earthing conductors and electrodes? This is just uh, I will cover some theoretical part as well. And uh, basically, the earth mesh is uh, designed in such a, such a way that there are the conductors which are uh, running horizontal and vertical and uh, these are forming kind of mesh and the size of this conductor 
and the mesh uh, box uh, you can see uh, is designed by a software as output and the electrodes uh, which are the vertical rods uh, basically uh, installed in the earth uh, it will give also the calculations that how many uh, earth rods uh, should be installed to achieve the required uh, substation earthing resistance so this all things we will go through this is a relatively simple calculations uh, number four is uh, earth resistance uh, we will calculate the earth resistance based on uh, the data that we collected we collected the soil resistivity we collected the site description we, we uh, take the results uh, of uh, soil resistivity at different points we put in the software we put the fault level and uh, we put the basically uh, we have calculated the step and touch potential that should be within the limits of the provided specifications and uh, at the end we will get the resistance of the earth which should be within the limits uh, next uh, we will see how to calculate or how we calculated the tolerable touch and step potential uh, basically uh, all the humans which are going in the substation are exposed to touch and step potentials so here i will add some theoretical part uh, in this training uh, explaining touch and step potential i will add at the end so if you are interested you can go through this uh, touch and step potential theoretical part uh, so uh, on the paper the calculations are done and it is being confirmed that uh, step and touch potential calculated should be within the uh, limits of some standard of the country that is uh, followed and when the station is energized uh, this step and uh, touch potentials are again calculated as actual similarly the arc resistance is also tested at actual at site how much it is coming it should be within the limits in the same way, the touch and step potential, there are the equipments uh, by which you can do the, uh, you can measure the step and touch potential, it should be within the limits. Uh, determination of maximum gridded current and ground potential rise. Uh, determination of maximum gridded current and determination of ground potential rise. These are the two phenomena that I explained you. Uh, because uh, at the grid at one, one short circuit level is provided by the client and uh, on the short circuit you have to design the grid but anyhow we will calculate and will show you the calculations that uh, how the maximum uh, grid current is calculated and it is very important to know that how much the short circuit level of your substation is and uh, it's normally depending upon how many transformers you have how many lines are connected what is the percentage impedance of the transformers what is the source impedance of the line what is the impedance of the official line so these all parameters we will see the calculations how this is it is it is done and it, is, it will be really interesting to work on uh, number seven design of arc grid with respect to touch and step potential uh, step voltages. So step voltages of the design earth grid, touch voltages of design earth grid. So after we calculate uh, the the earth and step potential, the design we will see how we can change the design to achieve these uh, two required uh, values. Uh, I will give you example. For example. Uh, there is, uh, in, if you have been to substation, you will find crushed stones or gravels uh, normally which are installed, uh, you will find this on the floor on the equipment, I will share the uh, picture as well, so uh, these are uh, basically uh, placed because to, to increase the earth resistance between body to earth so so it will increase the resistance so if it, resistance is in, increase it means that now the less current will flow through the body 
and uh, now it means that if the less current will flow through the body it means the now the step poten touch potential or step potential um, will not uh, able to induce more current uh, so now there will uh, uh, more step potential will could be allowed in that case so this is one of the way that is t of uh, reducing the step potential and, uh, and what basically it is done that step potential or touch potential is calculated then uh, in the specification there is a uh, standard uh, weight uh, 50 kg or 70 kg for example two persons uh, calculation is given and substandard impedance of the body is given so basically you know that uh, current is, uh, is the thing that is killing the people not the voltage so if uh, uh, instead of uh, reducing the step potential which will be requiring increase of uh, complete uh, mesh uh, uh, conductor size increase the number of electrodes and uh, after you increase complete substation then you slightly decrease the voltage instead of decreasing the voltage why not to increase the current increase the resistance uh, through the body and in that uh, and in that case uh, after increasing the resistance uh, the current through the body will reduce so and it will be within the uh, IEC uh, standard for the earthing system and in this way uh, this will be the economical uh, solution so you will find this is achieved through the gravel or the crushed stone which is you you will find uh, in the switch yard so this is uh, uh, normally the design calculations uh, it is decided that how much will be the thickness of this gravel and what is the type of gravel and what will be the resistivity of the gravel basically uh, that is used so this is very very technical thing you cannot just pour in the any quantity any thickness of the gravel so and and uh, next is the touch uh, step potential also the step potential uh, the tolerable limits after putting the gravel will increase so uh, these are the ways by which you can design the grid next is the earthing system uh, so we will see the foundation earth electrodes uh, indoor uh, earthing system outdoor earthing system precaution of laying of uh, we will see this precaution of laying of uh, earthing grid we will see summary we, i will attach here as input to the software and uh, you can find the soil resistivity results so overall uh, uh, in this training uh, you have seen that uh, we will cover the practical part and uh, when I was uh, in university my, I, it was my interest to know that uh, how the mesh uh, earthing system is designed now here is a calculation that I have bring for you so uh, this training will be very useful so let's uh, start the training thank you Thank you.